he talks, I just want us, everyone to sing happy birthday to him. And then um, and then he can speak. So let's just sing happy birthday. So one, two, you have three. Cake? No, we don't. <laughs> happy happy birthday. Birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Mary Ellen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. Go away, Jay. Go away. Because you'll be 81. Yeah, that's right. Crack a little? I'm a little sad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also happy, guys. I'm also happy all here. <laughs> I'm both, but um, yeah, it's really great seeing you all here today. Um, I didn't think this maybe we're gonna come, like fill up the backyard and everything. <laughs> and all of you here is like really amazing. So thank you guys all. Um, before I get started, I wanted to first like acknowledge my grand grandmas, my boo and my thai for being here today. Um. <laughs> Yeah, like, um, I'm very fortunate to have both of them here because, like, not everyone has their grandparents at, like, their graduation and at big events like this. Um, so I'm very thankful for them both being here. All right, go get it, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so um, I'll talk a little bit about my high school experiences and, like, some of the accomplishments that I had during graduation and stuff. Um, so... First, I have my golden stole, which is for summa cum laude, and it is for maintaining a 4.0 GPA or higher in um, high school. Um, for me, I had a 4.2 throughout all uh, four of my years, so I achieved summa cum laude for like um, being in high school. Um, this gold cord here is for magna cum laude, it is for 3.4 or higher, so these two come together to show like academics, ag academic excellence for the students because we are both have like gold and it shows that like we did work throughout the past four years. Um, this room cord here is for students who achieve um, a minimum of 150 community service hours and for me I achieved two times as much um, totaling out at 329 hours in throughout the four years of high school my medal that I have here for you guys to see it is um, it is the state accredited bi seal of biliteracy so I took four years of Mandarin Chinese and I have passed all the tests provided by my school as well as the state for like reading, writing, listening, as well as speaking. So I'm like kind of a little fluent in Chinese. Aww. So yeah, that's why I have this. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm also someone who's like really into my extracurriculars throughout high school. So I did get like three chords for that. I have this red and silver one. It is for being an officer of Asian American Association at my school. This year I served my club as president and last year I served as secretary. Okay. This year, um, I'm like really happy of the accomplishments my club made. We held like events like a night market for our whole community of Mokitas and um, for like not just the school. Um, this blue one here is for being in UNICEF. It is like an organization that focuses on like world hunger as well and as this year focusing on like period poverty in impoverished countries and like um, other societies. And this white one, I have like a little thing here for a key club. So um, key club has been like the biggest part of my high school career. Um, I've been an officer since I was like in sophomore year and this year I served my home club as treasurer my division, which is 13 schools around me, as their fundraising coordinator, as well as Key Club International, as their membership growth committee member. So I serve like in all these clubs and um, achieve all these scores from the things that I did throughout high school. Um, I also forgot to say that um, I attended Mofitas High School. If you guys don't know where that is, that is in San Jose, like the Bay Area. Um, in the whole school, there's about 4,000 students, and in the graduating class this year, there's about 900. Yeah, so there's a lot of people. 
Um, one of my most favorite things at Alita's High is like not the classes or like not the extracurriculars, but the food. <laughs> um, I've been like an avid volunteer at my school's cafeteria for two years, and like it's super fun because I get to meet like all the old lunch ladies and get a little extra like orange chicken, like, <laughs> yogurt parfaits, or like the chicken like tikka masala with naan. It's so good. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I'll say, like, that's, like, my most favorite part of high school, and I also got, like, so many community service hours out of that, and it's, like, my favorite thing. Um, what was I saying? Your future. Your oh, yeah, my future. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, in the fall semester, the upcoming year, I'm going to be attending Sac State as a business administration major, and I'm planning to, um, minor in communications as well. Um, uh, this... For the next upcoming year, I have already been accepted to a program at Sac State called FCP, which is the Full Circle Project, and it's um, for like a group of 100 students for each year that focuses on leadership development through like cultural pre appre appreciation and like um, diversity. So yeah, and then after I'm um, getting like my bachelor's degree at um, Sac State, I plan to go for my MBA, maybe at Sac State or like another school, so I can work and get like a lot of money and work in business. <laughs> um, yeah, so since I am going to Sac State, I will be at this house. I'll be local <laughs> with all you guys, so I'll be seeing a lot more of everyone. Um, again, like thank you guys so much, and all of the future journeys and experiences that I go through. I'll be experiencing it with you all. So thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm saying it now, so all that matters. We're still up here. But yeah, um, I'm thanking my parents as well for like um, my 18 years as well as this event today. Thank you.